Come on, Sonia. What are you talking about? Why, well, just last week. I don't want to discuss it anymore. Unless you can come up with something different and romantic, we're through. Through? Ah, oh, women. Ah, whenever I'm starting to feel down, I can always count on old Spike to come around to cheer me up. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, dum dee dee do, dum dum dee dee do, bum dee dee do. Yahoo! Yeah, that's all. The cat father? Who's the cat father? The cat father's our boss. We're new to the neighborhood. And he's heard a lot about you, see? He got quite a reputation, Heathcliff. He was wondering if it isn't too much trouble, perhaps you could meet with him. When? Now. Okay, I'll see what he has to say. Yeah, let's go. You must be Meatcliff. I heard a lot about you. That's Heathcliff, not Meatcliff. Whatever. Listen, Beefcliff, I got something I want you to do for me. That's Heathcliff, not Beefcliff. Not Meatcliff, Heathcliff. Uh-oh. Oh, oh hey, hey, Sorry. Sometimes I don't hear so good. Anyway, Leafcliff, I got this little problem. I thought maybe you could help me out. You see, I'm a very well-liked cat. Cats are always giving me things like rubber mice, fish, milk. You know, things I like. Well, this is very nice. It also creates a problem. Being new to the neighborhood, we don't know our way around so good. Well, I understand that you kind of run this town, Three Cliff. Hi. Ah, I was hoping you'd agree to uh, collect these gifts for me. Why should I? What's in it for me? Oh, hi, Baroni. Didn't I mention? I can't use all these gifts myself. I thought maybe you could take some of them off my hands. You know, for your trouble. Hmm. And um, okay, pal. I can live with that. You got yourself a deal. Okay, Large Louie. Give him the list. I'll get on this right away, buddy. Uh, see you around. Hey, Cat Father. What's with this present routine? Ah, little Joey, I couldn't tell him why the cats is really giving us these things. Yeah, boss. Any cats what don't pay up, we takes care of. <laughs> That's right, Lodge Louie. <laughs> that Heathcliff's too smart for that. Tabby McGurk, next on the list. Oh, Heathcliff, what can I do for you? Uh, hi, Tabby. Uh, nothing for me. I'm doing a favor for a guy. A favor? Yeah, your name's on this list I got from the Cat Father. The Cat Father? Yeah! Oh, this Cat Father sure is a popular guy. The Cat Father. Hey, 
fellas. I've been looking for you. Wow, Heathcliff, where'd you get all the loot? Oh, uh, they're not for me. Uh, they're for the cat father. The cat father? <laughs> Gee, thanks, boys. You were the last tree on my list. Oh, Heathcliff, now this is romantic. Have a seat, my dear. Dinner will be ready in a moment. Thank you, Heathy. Oh. Mm, this meal was delicious. Hey, uh, Sonia, I, uh, I got you a little something. Oh, Heathcliff, it's so cute. <laughs> Everything would be just perfect if it wasn't for that awful new cat in the neighborhood. What cat? Why, the cat father, of course. He's been going around and making all the cats in the neighborhood give him presents, or else. Or else, uh, what? You know. And there's some terrible cat collecting for him. That cat would have to be an awful individual to work for someone like that. Slime jived out frantic at Trying to put one over on old Heathcliff, eh? <laughs> Hello, boys. Yeah! Uh, don't be in such a hurry. You boys are about to help me save my reputation. Uh. Hi, big guy. What do you want? <laughs> uh, uh, cat father, uh, uh, we were sent here to give you a message from a very big, important, scary guy. You got a message for me? Let me have it. Uh, <clears throat> uh, dear cat father, it has been brought to my attention um, that you have encroached upon my territory. Get to the point. <laughs> yeah. uh, under the aforesaid conditions, you are hereby ordered to vacate these premises, and yourself and your straggly cohorts are notified you have one hour to pack up and leave town. Signed, The Heath Father. Huh? I don't know any Heath Father. But my boys are gonna give you boys a message to take back to him. Get him, boys. We're leaving or we're grieving. So, you're the meat father. That's Heath father. Heath father, and you're through in this town. The party's over, rat father. That's what you think. The party is just beginning. <laughs> <laughs> Run away! Run away! Bowling for gangsters! Yeah. Oh. This ought to run out your day! And last, but not least, the fat father! Oh no! Yeesh! Bouncy, bouncy, bad guy! <laughs> That's what you get for trying to fool old Heathcliff. Beefcliff! Beefcliff's the meat fodder. Beefcliff? Meat fodder? What's going on here? It's a long story. I can't believe it was Leafcliff. It was Leafcliff all along. Ah, and a scratching post for Tiger. 
Don't worry about it, Tabby. It's all there. Well, that looks like the last of the things the cat father took, Heathcliff. Oh, Heathcliff. Would you like to come to my house and play with the mechanical mouse you gave me? Well, Sonia, it really wasn't mine to give in the first place. Although, uh, I could always make its owner uh, an offer he can't refuse. <laughs> One of the things you'll notice about dogs is they don't speak English. Dogs understand what you mean by the tone of your voice as much as by what you say to them. Okay, puppy, sit. Always when you give commands, use your normal voice and be firm. Bad dog. Get back in the doghouse. If you want to correct your dog, use a quick, low voice. <laughs> <laughs>